All right, time for the next DIY project, and this is cigar box instrument number seven. So we'll go across here. You can see this one started life as a Mr. Brownstone cigar box here. Um, this one did not come from a kit or anything. It's just my own idea. I kind of threw in some angled holes there for the um, for the string anchors. It's got a Stratocaster pickup that I got off eBay. I think I paid like eight or nine dollars for it. It was very, very cheap. Um, and then it came with this ring that's designed for if you put it into a P90 opening, but I just used it to make it you know, look nice. It doesn't provide any functionality per se, but it just kind of adds a uh, visual element. So I use that. Single sound hole there. It's got a volume knob and a jack uh, bolt for the bridge. The fret lines are wood burned along with the stars all the way across. Uh, neck is sculpted slightly. Uh, it's just a piece of poplar. We've got three tuners there. Um, those actually came off a of Gretsch where I replaced the tuners several years ago. And I had, um, it was quite a project because I had to actually enlarge the tuner holes to replace them for somebody. And he just told me to keep the original tuners. And I'd had them just sitting in a bag um, I don't know, for six years or something, and I found them the other day, so. Nice other thing, I got three more, so I can make another project with those. Um, I used a screw here, a bolt, screw head bolt here, um, and I actually had to kind of countersink this when I put the groove in so that it would sit flush like that. Uh, 57 logo on the headstock there. Stars for the great state of Texas. Um, that is pretty much it. Inside the box, um, since I knew I was going to have to route for the pickup, I did I did two ply. So inside the box here, from here to here, the neck is two ply thick um, to give it a lot more strength. And if you look through the sound hole there, you can just kind of see it that it's two ply thick. Hopefully the camera's picking that up, um, so that I could route a little spot for the pickup uh, to sit in there. And then um, it's it's notched out so it's flush on both sides here, as you can see. Um, it actually came out really pretty darn good overall. There's bracing right here and right here at both ends. Uh, four screws there to hold the box top closed. Very simple wiring. I've got a main ground uh, in one of the braces here. It actually it came out really nice. Um, so the cool thing about this one is I built it from almost completely from stuff I had on hand. I think literally every single part of this I just had on hand. Um, I had the wood, I had the box, I had the pickup, I had the bolts. I mean, pretty much everything I had. Um, the one thing that I had to buy was strings, and I got these southbound uh, GDG. They're actually cigar box strings, if you can see it. Cigar box guitar strings made for GDG. Um, and I put them on there, and I have enough guitars that tune up GDG that I thought I'd do this one FCF. And um, when I put them on there and started tuning them up, it actually tuned up real nice to EBE. So that's how I've got it tuned right now. But at EBE, there's no rattles, nothing. So it's, it's currently tuned to EBE and it sounds really good. I'm really impressed with how this pickup sounds. I mean, it's a cheap, you know, um, pickup out of a Mexi Strat. I'm not even sure if it's the middle pickup or the bridge pickup or which. Um, but, you know, just the combination of what's here, um, it just sounds really good. So uh, let's, do a, um, let's do a sound sample. All right, let's test her out with a little blues groove here. Mm -hmm. 